I'll have an order of in-game cinematic with a side of gameplay, please. The Xbox Showcase is coming real soon. I'm excited for it. I want to see Microsoft first party shine. I'm not interested in a lot of indie games. I'm not interested in a lot of third party deals. I want to see those first party bangers. And the old in-game slash cinematic slash in-game cinematic is starting to rear its ugly head. Microsoft PR is already starting to use that sort of word sorcery. We're going to show in-game, we're going to show in-game cinematic, and we're going to show in-game gameplay. I don't know which one is it because in-game isn't actually gameplay. It's a way to show the game in a really, really confined space. An in-game cinematic is just using the engine to show a cinematic. And of course, that cinematic always looks better than what the game looks like while you're playing it. So which one is going to show up at this show? Aaron Greenberg stated on social media that the Xbox Showcase will not feature any movie trailers taking a shot at the PlayStation Showcase that I thought wasn't really that good. And he has said that the Showcase for Xbox, it will only be slash in-game slash CG slash cinematic slash in-game cinematic and then slash gameplay. So I'm wondering... Which one is it? Because if we are shown, say, Fable, and underneath of the footage that we see it says in-game cinematic, well, that really doesn't mean anything because an in-game cinematic really isn't the game that you will be playing, what you will be seeing while you play the game. And then, of course, a CG cutscene is a CG cutscene, and there won't be any of that, but there'll be cinematics that aren't in-game, which one is it, folks? I'm really not interested in this word scramble when it comes to what's going to be shown at this showcase. I'm very excited for the showcase, but I feel like there isn't any room anymore for this sort of in-game cinematic or in-game footage. I want to see actual gameplay. I almost feel like Microsoft is at the point now where somebody needs to come out on stage with a disc in their hand put it in an Xbox Series X, and turn it on, hold a controller in their hand, and play the game. Because we cannot infer anything from, say, a Hellblade in-game trailer or an avowed in-game cinematic. And if they're going to pick and choose these words and scramble them together, it really doesn't do anything to get me personally excited for how these games are actually going to look when I'm sitting in front of my television holding the controller and playing them. I'm pretty sure we're at the point now where Starfield is going to be gameplay. There's absolutely no way that they can show, say, an in-game cinematic for Starfield after they've already shown some of that and then shown some gameplay. We have to see more in terms of Starfield when it comes to gameplay. But with games like Everwild, with games like Avowed and Hellblade 2, and maybe some other games, it's high time that we have seen the actual fruit of Microsoft's labor when it comes to creating first-party content. And if you're going to take shots at Sony for showing CGI or movie trailers in their presentation, then you can't turn around and sort of mix words together and say, well, that is an in-game cinematic. It's not a CG trailer, but it's not representative of what the actual video game will look like when users are playing it. I worry about all this because Microsoft and Xbox are so tone deaf at times that you're not in this position to take a shot at anybody at this point. You're in zero position to critique anyone else's output, anyone else's presentations, anyone else's shows. Just be quiet and make sure that you deliver because if you don't, this tweet among other tweets from Aaron Greenberg in the past, will come back to haunt him, to haunt Microsoft, to haunt Xbox, and I don't want that to happen. Again, I'm tired of this, here comes the wolf, and the wolf never shows up. Aaron Greenberg is the boy who has cried wolf for the last 20 years, it seems, and it's time to see the wolf. 
Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Was this a good idea after all of these disappointing releases, after the last taste in the mouth of Xbox gamers was Redfall? Was this a good idea to tweet out this shot at PlayStation? Or do you like seeing stuff like that? And do you think it's going to lead to a great show for Microsoft on June 11th? Thanks for watching the video. Think about liking, think about subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.